Most of us might never get married. At best, we have casual short-term relationships. Some relationships turn into long-term relationships, but in all phases, short-term, long-term, or marriage, we all know that cheating is a bad thing. And whenever we hear cheating, we automatically think of men, men as the culprits, men as the catalyst, and women as those who are perfect, said that they've given their heart to this man who doesn't care about them and went and cheated anyway. And of course, men are always looking for forgiveness, for cheating, hoping that the woman comes back. But that's not always the case. There are a lot of men out there who have been cheated on. You, me, especially me. And usually you're being cheated on with a guy who is a lesser form than you. Meaning that you're willing to invest more of your time, your effort, and your care into a woman that doesn't appreciate it. So she goes to a guy with less than you and gives her you know, the same thing she's giving you, which in many cases for many guys is nothing. But we never talk about women who disrespect their men and they cheat, although it happens a lot more often than publicized. And here's a great example of that today. Here's a clip from the Dear Future Wifey podcast. You have this brother who is a good stand up husband and he forgave his wife after she did this. You know, we all we all know that men cheat. We've heard it dozens of times. Um, but we normally don't ever get a chance to hear a man forgiving his wife for infidelity. So, Keith. Yes. I'm going to jump right in. What made you forgive her? Um, the main thing that made me forgive was really just like the... I always saw my parents go through different things growing up, but I also had the opportunity to see them work through it. And so seeing that, okay, yeah, it may not be the same as somebody just having an everyday argument or anything like that, but recognizing that this is the person that I said my vows to, that we made this covenant not only between ourselves, but with God, this is somebody that I already said I'll be willing to work through things for better or for worse. Yes. And this is just one of those things that falls into the worst category, but we, we made these vows. I want to try and work this out. And so I had to make that decision with God. And, and then also too, like now that segues into today's topic, which of course involves our man Papoose. Papoose is a New York city rap legend, especially in the mixtape circuit, but he's also a great guy. He met Remy Ma and committed to her while she did seven years in prison for shooting somebody. Easily, he had the opportunity to go someplace else and get somebody because New York City has a lot of attractive women who would have been willing to be a good wife for him, but that's not what he did. He stayed loyal to somebody who wasn't loyal to him, and when she got out, she was dressing the part. Now, let's fast forward all the way to the Chrome 23 Battle Rap League in which both of them started. She starts having a relationship with Easy Block, the captain. And we all know about the audio in which he admitted that he was clapping those cheeks. If you haven't heard it, here it is. And so it's just like, you know, as far as that, like, cause it's just, how was that gonna work? How is it gonna work? Like, even if you go back with the ball, right? Which, all right, I'll come out, explain everything that happened. You'll be with each other, you were cheating on ball, such and such and whatever happens. Let's say love and hip hop, pick it up. You all get back together. How does now, I get a bag, you know what I mean? I get a little bag, I get a little check, couple little, you know what I'm saying? Such and such a, you know what I mean? I'm the boy that such and such a cheat. I'm around now, I'm a little, I'm a little, little bit. So at the end of the day, it kind of fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it fit everybody. That's so it's just like, you know, as far as that, like, cause it's just, how was that gonna work? How is it gonna work though? Now? Like, even if you go back with the boy, right? I'm sorry, I'm too comfortable. I should have knew me being in New York, me being at Ring John, I know knew this should have been plotting on me because I would have been doing the same thing. Yeah, you know I mean, this is in a city. No blood, no nothing. No blood, no scratch, no nothing. And he had two clean jaws. No blood. One, I did not get into no fight with nobody. One. Two, nobody has ever knocked me out ever in life. <laughs> in life, period. In life, period. But Lil Scrappy has decided to weigh in on the situation. And boy, does he have some smoke for Remy Ma. Let's check it out. When men do some shit, man, women stand up for every, they stand up from all mountains of the earth. They stand up. Oh, why would he do this? Why would he do it? 
but we ain't heard nothing about what happened to Pat Poos. We don't hear shit about that. Shit. Ain't nobody standing up for Pat Poos saying, "Oh man, we sorry for your, we sorry that shit happened to you. Shout it did you dirty. We ain't hearing none of that shit, my nigga. We ain't hearing none of that shit because ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to stand up. And they talking about the black woman is the most unprotected person on the earth when dying daily. This is dying daily. This is dying daily, my Fuck that shit, my I'm standing up for the black woman and I'm standing up for the black man. That's what I'm doing. I don't give a fuck about the shit we're talking about. And you be and I love I love some of my I'll be I'll be on y'all little dumb podcast. Just wanna need to do this, need to do this. Y'all need to do this for your woman. You know, man, you trying to get man you that you you maybe all all your life you dealt with great women. All your life you dealt with great women. I'm 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 happy for you. But I know some real evil mom women. I know some real evil women. I done been an evil man before. So guess what? I have to stand up for both. I done been a nigga before. I done been a whole a whole for real. I done been a whole to women. You know what I'm saying? So I already know that it's bad out there. But I already know that it's bad women out there because some women have been over. They done me all the way over inside out. You see, let me let me just be honest. A lot of you guys, a lot of women hate, you know, male podcasts and they hate the red pill podcast. But we're going to be honest. There are a lot of women podcasters out here, too. And they celebrate a lot of the effort going on. They talk about their wild sexual exploits. They talk about a whole lot of situations going on and men, you know, not having enough money and them cheating on men and using men's money to do everything else. But whenever something happens to a woman, hey, they're all sad about it. Hey, listen, if Lori Harvey goes out here and dumps these guys and breaks their heart, women are happy about it. But if somebody cheats on Lori Harvey, oh my God, that's the worst person in the world. Remember what happened to Devon Franklin? Devon Franklin divorced Megan Good. He's a pastor. He never cheated on her, did anything like that from what we know. Once he divorced Megan Good and he took a photo out with his friends for a trip, what were they saying about him? Man, they were saying the guy is a gay. But the thing is, there is no respect for black men who, after they get cheated on, you don't see it. Like, even from other men, we need to be checking out, hey, yo, bro, are, are you okay? And I know what guys are going to say, right? Well, he should have been dealing with that 304 anyway. That's what he get. See, let me just tell you this, right? But we all know that this can happen. A lot of guys can always fall in love with that one. You see what I'm saying? And what we like to do is when brothers get played, I told you so. I told you so. Should have been messing with that 304 in the first place. I get all that. I get what you're saying. I understand what you're trying to get across. But again, here's a good black man. He married this lady. We understand now that he married the wrong lady and that's fine. But you know what? The brother married her and he's a stand up man. And you know what? We don't ever talk about the guys out there that they're taking care of their wives and they're in sexless relationships. Their wife is cheating. Their wife is not doing anything. They're still paying the mortgage. They're still paying the rent. They're holding up the end of their bargain, but the lady's not holding up their end. And that's the issue. You see what I'm saying? Like the first guy, he stayed with his wife after she cheated. And hey, listen, you know, it, it's, it's a personal decision. I'm not gonna get into that's his wife, right? So if he feels like, you know, he should stay with her, that's, that's on him. Uh, definitely wouldn't have been the case with me, but it's okay, right? But like I said, you know, at the same time, where is the love for the black man? You know, I know so many guys that they're holding up their end of the bargain in their relationship in, in the marriage. And the wife is, the wife isn't being a woman. You see, we don't talk about that. A lot of ladies don't hold up their end of the bargain. They only want the men to hold up their end of the bargain. And so when the man doesn't hold up his end of the bargain and something happens, they blame the man. Like, do you know how many times it dudes, they, they have a relationship with their wife, their wife will gain some weight. Uh, all of a sudden, that wife doesn't want to have sex with the guy because she feels unsexy. Well, what does that got to do with the guy? Now, if that guy decides he wants to go out there and find somebody else because you're not giving it to him, then he's the worst person in the world because he's not willing to suffer because the wife is suffering. But let's say, for example, he can't work and make any money. Will you be willing to suffer with him? Hell no, you're not going to suffer with him. You're ready to go. 
know what I mean? And that's the thing. I'm so glad that little Scrappy said this because so many black men go through this every single day, you know? And this is what I really feel needs to happen. And of course, I can't tell him what to do because he's married. But if you were to take this woman back after what she did, listen, she's going to make the guy pay more for it, right? Most ladies, if not most people in general, when they disrespect you and you accept it, they're going to do it again. What reason would they have for not stopping? It's not like you're going to do anything about it, right? You're going to continue to bully that person because that person isn't worth being respected. So if she would cheat on you with a guy like Easy, the block captain, and you don't get rid of her and you don't make an example out of her. And I mean an example for anybody who comes across you. You're supposed to deal with that person harshly. Get them away from you. Take them to court. Do whatever you can to make their life miserable for trying to play you. Because if you are showing love to somebody who doesn't love you back, you're an idiot. My uncle used to always say, love who loves you. But many of us don't do that and we want to make sure that we can make somebody happy and we can make sure that, you know, we can forgive somebody. But think about this. That person, if it was the other way around, wouldn't forgive you. So guys, what do you think it should boy should do, Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>